Okay, we're going to start this sucker up for the first time ever. <laughs> the Mini SE. Let's do it. Okay. Let's try it out. Let's start the controller first. Let me sign in real quick. Okay, so it says enter device zero Xeno Mini SE. I got it. Okay, let's turn that on. Okay, so I want you to upgrade the firmware. Uh, first time. Oh, we're just going to cancel that. Okay, next step. Okay, I'm going to cancel the firmware update. I just want to get it turned on. New firmware can be used. Please upgrade. Oh, good God, upgrade the damn thing then. <sighs> this thing, ugh. It's sitting there telling you to do the compass calibration, but then it's interrupting you by telling you to do this update. 74 megs, version 1.1.3. You know, I'm going to sit here and do this update because it's never going to leave me alone unless I do it. You know that, right? So it's just going to keep pestering you and pestering you constantly so it says upgrade okay so what this one you don't have to do the unplug and plug it into the into the uh, the drone like the other one yeah this one doesn't get anywhere near as hot as the uh, as the pro the pro they give you that heat sink on there this thing doesn't get anything like that that thing gets hot as crap. And we're going to use this uh, memory card in there. This is that Evo Select from Samsung. Okay, so now it says upgrade is complete. Restart the aircraft. It never even did it. It got stuck on 2%. Okay, so now it's going to go back and finish the upgrade. This is, yeah, okay. Flight controller. Now it's at... 37 now it's going after I reset it a couple times now it's moving boy oh boy oh boy you gotta it's a Zeno <laughs> oh boy oh boy okay so I finally finished the last part of the beep Okay, so that's moving along. So I had to restart that thing twice for it to pick back up the updating. That's pretty wild. It just kind of froze there for, uh, you know, a few minutes. Like 10 minutes. So who knows how long it would have taken to do that. USB, okay, upgrade. See, here it goes again. Jesus Christ. Now it's going to do the transmitter. I don't even think you need the drone turned on right now. You could probably shut that off if you wanted. If it was overheating or something, you could turn this off because it's doing the transmitter now. Yeah, this thing's starting to get warm. Okay. So that's finished. Okay, do a compass. Let me just hurry up and get this out of the way so it quits bugging me. Oh, this drone is hot as hell. Okay, yeah, we got that done. 
oh, see how nice that is. I don't have to deal with that uh, um, you know that oh, that Mrs. Magoo with all that uh, crap about the obstacle avoidance. <laughs> I hate obstacle avoidance. So let me see if the motors will fire up. Oh, I don't have the you have to set the then that setting in there. You have to turn off the GPS start thing. G, safe GPS takeoff. You have to turn that off. That that resets every time. It doesn't it doesn't stay. You have to set reset that every time when you do this. So all right. So it's it's working. Okay, the gimbal's going up and down. So hey, yeah, it's working great. So all right, it took a while, but there it goes. It's ready to go. Yay. Okay, it's 1.1.3. Okay, that's good. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> that took 24 minutes. This whole video was 24 minutes. That's all, folks.